madam president the title of this report is a satirist's dream closing the gap between anti corruption law and reality. I could fill my sixty seconds talking about the eighteen years' worth of unaudited accounts or the bazillions that are squandered on uh, agriculture and foreign aid boondoggles or the Tillac case where instead of any of the alleged fraudsters being arrested it was the journalist uh, trying to find out about them who found himself banged up by the police. I could talk about the six point six million pounds spent last year by European commissioners simply on entertainment and luxury gifts and hotels. I could talk about the uh, wonderful spectacle of President Van Rompuy and uh, Commissioner Ashton flying to the same meeting in Russia from in separate private jets leaving Brussels within four hours of each other. Instead, I'll confine myself to saying this. These things happen not because the EU attracts particularly bad people. I mean, of course, it attracts some bad people. Man is fallen, and like all institutions, it contains those who give in to temptation. It happens rather because there is no link between taxation, representation, and expenditure at Brussels level. It was Milton Friedman who said there's two kinds of money in the world. There's your money, and there's my money. The trouble is that in the EU, it's all your money. Hence, negligence, corruption, fraud, and what, uh, and what we see before us today.